guys, it's Sarah. Do you know how I'm usually chippery and happy in my videos? Well, today it's gonna be a little bit hard to be that way. And guys, just a quick disclaimer before I get on to this first topic. I don't want to make this whole video sad, so I don't want to just talk about Robin's passing. After doing that topic, I want to talk about other topics as well. So don't think I'm being insensitive by talking about Robin's passing and then suddenly talking about Larry Stylinson. That's not in my intention. I just want to like move on, talk about different things, and end on a positive note. So hope you guys won't mind the quick transition between both topics. But anyway, let's just get on to the video. I haven't made a video since Monday, and it's Friday. So here is all the latest news that's been happening in the past week. Okay, so the reason why I'm doing this topic first is because, as I said before, I do not want to end on a sad topic. I want to leave happy topics for last, so I just thought I would put this one first. So I don't know about you guys, but the first time I heard about this, I thought it was a joke. And not like a ha-ha funny joke, obviously, but a joke as in like, I thought it was made up. I thought it was a rumor. Because people were saying that the same account who said Robin passed, they were the same account who, who was spreading rumors about Gemma being pregnant a long time ago. So no one was believing them. But supposedly Robin actually passed Tuesday night. Then we heard all the rumors on Wednesday. Nobody really believed it. Nothing was trending. Everybody was saying, don't talk about it because we want to let the family have their privacy. We don't want to spread false rumors. Then on Thursday, it was confirmed because, well, number one, it was trending. And also, so Liam, Louis, and Niall all said something about Robin's passing, and obviously Harry didn't. I didn't expect him to come to social media and talk about it. And also it was said that Harry spent the day with his mom yesterday, which is expected. So Louis tweets, devastated to hear the news about Robin. He was such a lovely kind of guy, sending all my love to the whole family. You'll be missed, mate. And then Niall says, very sad to hear about the loss of Robin. For those who had the pleasure of knowing Robin will know that he was the nicest, kindest, most generous, hilariously funny guy you'll have met. He always had a smile on his face even when he was battling the terrible illness. Love you, H. Please give your mom and the rest of the family a massive hug from my family. Liam says, Harry, my heart really goes out to you. Such an extremely sad day for us all who knew Robin. What a kind, gentle, and beautiful soul. A true rarity to find in today's world. Sometimes they really do take the best of us far too soon. Yeah, it was said that Robin was just 57 when he passed, and I think it was from cancer. Because these articles say, In mourning, Harry Styles devastated following sad death of stepfather Robin Twist, aged just 57. The singer's beloved stepdad passed away this week after losing his battle with cancer. Harry Styles' stepfather Robin Twist dead. The singer's mother, Ann Cox, married her now late husband only four years ago. So after seeing the headlines and all the boys writing a sympathy post, I was like, okay, this is real. And that is pretty unfortunate because I was praying to God that this was not real. I thought this was just another rumor. And when you guys think about it, the family has known about this for such a long time. They've been keeping this from us. I mean, obviously I knew they weren't gonna bring it out to the public. Obviously it was a private matter. We wouldn't have known. But this reminds me a lot of the Jay situation. This whole time Jay was bad something, we knew nothing about it, and then we find out when she passes. And then it's a huge shock to us. It's the same thing with Robin. He's been battling cancer for probably a while, the family has known about it, and they probably knew around the time when he would pass. So I kind of feel like this is more of a shock to us than the family. I think this whole time the family knew when this would happen, they knew everything that was going on, but we knew nothing about it. So it is definitely a shock to us. I mean, I didn't know about this. Because if someone gets hit by a car, that is sudden, that was not expected, it's a huge shock to everybody. Like, you weren't supposed to die and that's what happened. But when it comes to like someone battling a fatal illness or something like cancer, that is something that is drawn out for a long time and I am pretty sure the family has known for months about this. And it's kind of funny when you look back on the photos, like Harry still took fan photos, he still had to put on that smile. And that really relates to Jay and Louie and the whole Tomlinson family too. Like Louie still had to take fan photos and he still had to put on that smile all for the sake of the fans because he loves the fans. 
fans. So anybody who's saying, Sarah, stop making it about Larry. Do you guys know that I am not making this about Larry? This is not about Larry. When I talk about Louis' situation and Harry's situation, Louis and Harry are two separate entities. They are two different people. Just because I talk about Louis and Harry in the same sentence, that does not mean I am talking about a Larry theory or any way relating this to Larry's silence. And like, I would never do that in this sort of situation. That would be very insensitive. So I just wanted to make that clear. This says they still wanted to make others happy even when their hearts were quietly bleeding inside kindest souls. And here's a picture of Anne with Robin and also Anne with Jay. Louis recently just went through something that is now similar to what Harry's going through. And there is no harm in saying that. And guys, really quick, regardless of what Louis and Harry are, even if they're just like a close friendship, regardless of any of that, it is just a fact that those two are so close that their parents are basically each other's parents. Harry's other mom was Jay and Louis's other dad was Robin. So technically you can say that Louis and Harry have both lost parents these past months. That's just a fact. That's not even Larry. That's not saying anything about them being in a relationship. Just them being maybe close friends. They have lost very important people in their life. Their families were both very close. So yes, it does affect both of them. It does affect both families. Like the fact that I even need to say that, the fact that I need to convince people that this is not about Larry, I think that's kind of sad. Like I should be able to talk about Louie and Harry in the same sentence without it having to do with Larry. This also says over the past six months, we've lost two important people, two people who changed the lives of two of the people we love the most. Two angels taken away too soon, but will always be remembered remembered and cherished. My prayers are with the family in this horrible time. I think if you guys want to feel better about this whole thing, this is what I can say. Everybody in this world views death as this terrible thing, and obviously it's very sad, very tragic, especially if it's a loved one. But I feel like if you want to look at it in a positive light, death could actually be viewed as very beautiful as well. And I know that might sound insensitive, I know that kind of sounds weird, like how is death beautiful? But like you can kind of look at it in a spiritual way too. So yes, it is sad and terrible that the two most nicest and beautiful people had to be taken away from this world, but maybe heaven just needed some brighter stars up there. It's kind of like going to a garden and picking out flowers. You want the most beautiful flowers to pick. You're not going to pick the wilted flowers or the ones that don't look full and bloom. You're going to pick the ones that look the most beautiful. So maybe whatever you believe in, God, whatever, maybe they went to this garden and they picked the most beautiful flowers and then they brought them up. I kind of view it as beautiful flowers in a garden or bright stars going up into the universe. Like, I don't know. Don't know if that makes any sense. I'm not good at metaphors, but I just kind of try to think of things in a positive way so it doesn't seem as bad. And you know what? I'm sure Jay and Robin want the best for Louie and Harry and they still want them to continue their life as well. I've had friends who have had parents or relatives or friends who have died and yes, they mourned for a while, but they've told me that they can't just live their whole life mourning. They have to move on. They have to get going on their life because they know that that's what that person would want them to do. So I'm pretty sure Robin doesn't want Harry to stop. Harry will keep going, just like Louis did when, when Jay died. Louis said he was going to throw in the towel, he was just not going to do music at all, but Louis kept going and he made Just Hold On and he showed how successful that was. He pushed forward and Louis is so strong for doing that. And I've also seen a couple of people on Twitter saying how Louis's tweet didn't seem as heartfelt as the other boys. Like the other boys posts look more personable than Louis's. But guys, all I got to say about that is it's not a competition who can write the best sympathy post. You know, like we, we shouldn't view it as that. Like we shouldn't say, oh, Louis's wasn't as good. Like the fact that Louis wrote something at all that's beautiful. It shows that he, he wants to show people that he does care. He's publicly showing that. But even if Louis didn't type anything, Louis would still care. Probably behind the scenes, Louis has been texting Harry. And I'm, I'm not just saying Louis, I'm saying all the boys. Like, they have all texted Harry. They have maybe called him. They've seen him in person. They're probably all gonna hang out and, like, maybe go to the funeral sometime. So just because you see something on Twitter that somebody wrote, that doesn't mean that's all they wrote. I'm sure Louie and the other boys have said so many things behind the scenes, more heartfelt. So I wouldn't judge Louie's tweet by the way it is. And that shouldn't even be our focus anyway. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. Okay, now this next topic I found was a good transition from the Robin topic. Bridge over troubled water. Liam, Louie, solos. This was 
amazing. And I know Louis only had five words, Liam only had a sentence as well, but guys, just the fact that we freaked out over just a sentence of their solos, just imagine a whole album. I need Louis to come out with ballads on his album. And have you guys noticed that Louis' voice sounds a lot more husky? Like, it used to sound really high, but it, it does sound a little bit lower. I don't know if it was because of, it was the morning or something, but I definitely noticed a change in Louis' voice, but it's beautiful. So here is a few different variations of audio from that. It's just Louis and Liam solos. I'm on your side. Maybe I got a little bit carried away. Yes, that was the remix I made. Hopefully Louis can put it on his album. But yeah, I don't even know how I'm going to react to Louis's full album. I don't know when it's gonna be out, but just the fact that I freaked out over Louis singing five words, that says a lot. And it was so cool because this was all for charity. I mean, if I had a say in the song, Louis and Liam definitely would have had more lines. <laughs> And now my last topic, and I find this to be very positive, um, Hess is dead. <laughs> and to be honest, it's weird even saying Hess is dead because Hess was never alive. And if you guys are wondering what Hess is, it is a combination between Tess and Harry. It's a really dumb ship name. I don't even know why people ship them in the first place when they, like, weren't even together. So this says, Harry Styles calls off romance with Tess Ward. A source told Now Magazine, Tess is mortified. She loves Harry, finds him wildly attractive, and loves all the attention the relationship has brought her. Her brand is all about visibility, and suddenly her followers have rocketed in a way she could never have foreseen. I love how they talk about all the attention, all the fame she's getting. Oh, she's mortified. But she was the same person who said that she did not want any attention. Like, I'm really confused. Even though they weren't together in the first place, just the fact that articles are saying that they're done Fine. Great. We won't see any more articles. Hopefully she's even more irrelevant than she was. Hopefully we won't have to see her or hear from her ever again. I'm just glad that now the media gets it and Hess shippers can just delete their accounts. I mean, the first time I read the articles, I literally laughed out loud because I'm like, how can something die when it was never a thing? It was never alive. How is the relationship over if it was never a relationship? That's what I don't get. I feel like they were trying to make the winter girlfriend thing happen again, even though it wasn't a winter thing, and they failed miserably. And also, how do they expect us to believe Hess was ever together when Harry is literally out there looking like Louis now? If you guys look at these pictures, Harry wore sneakers to a wedding. That's literally what Louis would do. This says, can't believe one showed up at a wedding wearing sneakers and the other one wore sweatpants and a t-shirt. I love them so much. And here is a little compilation of all the recent Harry picks. <laughs> Yeah, I know this video was kind of all over the place, a lot of switch of emotions, sorry about that, but I didn't want to end it sad. So guys, stay strong, let the Styles family have their privacy, because they need it. And if you're gonna do anything, just send love messages. But yeah, that's it for today, so put all your comments down below. And I make a new video whenever I want, so like and subscribe. All my social media is down in the description, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. What should they do, Harry? They should subscribe to this channel. There you go.
Thanks so much. We'll see you soon.